Good evening, everyone. I'm Nicole Perez. And I'm Eden Shackle. Here's a look at the stories making headlines on this Friday, September 1st. Several people shot in the Palmetto Estates neighborhood in southwest Miami-Dade. We are still learning more information, but we know at least three people have been transported. Two of them were taken to hospitals as trauma alerts. No word yet on how the third person is doing. First on 10, a man is dead after a shooting in the parking lot of a quick stop in northeast Miami-Dade. Police say two men got into a dispute last night. They say one of the men then left and returned with a gun. The the other man then pulled out a knife and was shot. He died at the scene. 50 year old Pierre Altador has been arrested and charged with second degree murder. He's being held without bond. Tonight, police in Miami Gardens are questioning if they arrested the right suspect. Officers responded to a call about an attempted burglary along Northwest 8th Street overnight. When police arrived to the scene, they spotted John Kelly St. Rilu outside his home. The 22 year old ran inside his house, slamming the door behind him, which resulted in an officer crushing his finger. St. Rilus was taken into custody, but his mother says her surveillance cameras proved that her son couldn't have committed the burglary. FAU police alert students of a possible suspicious man on campus. Officials are on the lookout for Carlos Alberto Montero, who is offering tutoring by passing out flyers to students. Montero is currently out on bond after he was previously arrested for a sexual assault of a minor in 2022. As breaking news happens, we have you covered on air and online. Head on over to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates. Have a wonderful evening.